Hi, everybody. I'm going to interpret a dream uh, that was submitted to my Instagram page. This came from Heather. And here's what she said. She said, I had a dream that I was sleeping in a room and a bed that was not mine. In the morning when I woke up, I decided to change the sheets to wash them. When I removed the fitted sheet, I found two seashells and two stones of some kind laying on the mattress. I immediately realized in the dream that someone placed them there to put a hex or a curse on me. What could this mean in my waking life? To my knowledge, I don't have any enemies. I keep my circle small and intentional. Wow, thanks for sharing that dream with us, Heather. Um, I'm sure that's unnerving to wake up from, right? So let's look at a few of the dream symbols that I want to pull out from this dream. Okay, first of all, a bed and sleeping, like a, a bedroom and a, and a bed, okay? In dreams, it has very much the same kind of meaning as it does in our waking hours. This is a place of rest. This is a place of intimacy. This is, think about your bed. Where do We go to relax. We go to come down from the day. We go to regenerate and rebuild, rest, and come back for the next day. And then I want to look at the, the stones, the two stones and the two seashells. Now, what immediately comes to mind in that is that stones are very much associated with like a stumbling block. Okay. And then seashells, if you think about them, when they are broken down, they become irritants, they become sand. So I almost get the impression that there is something, if I could kind of zoom out from the dream, I get the impression that here's what it means. There is something that is trying to kind of make its way into your place of rest and to your place of intimacy with God. That place where you hold dear, that place where you get alone with God, uh, where you, whatever, you have your quiet time, you know, whatever your intimacy looks like with God and that place of rest in him, there is something there that the enemy is intentionally trying to just kind of deposit um, in order to irritate, right? Because that's what the seashells would do. And in order to create a stumbling block for me, for you. So great response to this dream would be to be alert and to be aware. And it's kind of funny though, when you have dreams like this, and then you see, okay, all of a sudden something irritating comes along or something that could be a potential stumbling block or a, a place of offense for you. Now that you've had the dream and you're aware and you're alert of that, it's almost like when those things come, they have no way, they have no, it, it dilutes and it detracts the effect that, that those things were meant to have. And that is one of the primary reasons that God lets us have these dreams. I love that because when we are made aware, like, look, this track is being set for you or just be aware that on your journey you know you might come along this here in the future when that happens we're not taken off guard we're not surprised by it we're less likely to slip into those moments of offense and take the bait instead we realize oh god's already kind of told me about this so i'm just going to pass on by this and not let it come between me and this place of rest and this place of intimacy so in a nutshell, I feel like that is what the dream is meant to communicate. Just continue doing the things that you're doing to stay close to God. Uh, don't let anything come in that place when you go to pray, when you go to read your Bible, when you go to try to get along with God. If there's something that starts kind of gnawing at you, just resist the temptation to be distracted and give that your attention and just abide and just stay in your place of rest in him. Thanks for sharing the dream with us. Hope that helps.